Hey guys, and welcome back to Mary J's Hauls. So what are we doing today, Ryan? Aside from picking our second winner of the All Sunsets. No. Pretty Merch. Pretty Merch Pretty Pro. Merch. We're going to talk about All Sunsets in a second. <laughs> Pretty Merch Pro. We're giving away a lifetime license to a lucky commenter from the last video. And then if you guys are lucky and you stay till the end, we might be giving away another license for this video. Yeah. So let's get started on the winner. Go ahead. Get YouTube comments. All right, we got 30 commenters. That's pretty good. That means you have like a one in 30 shot if you uh, partook. Go ahead, hit yep. start. And the winner is Adam Holloway. All right, Adam, congrats. Uh, we will follow up on the comment. Yes. And give you instructions on how to redeem the license. Essentially, you're going to email me and I'll give you the, the code. And yes, the moon is shaped like an egg. Is it? <laughs> I don't know. Some people say it's flat. Some people say it's round. It looks round. pretty circular when we look at it. No, it's an egg. Okay, it's an egg. It's whatever you I say. I think. It is. All right. Okay. Go ahead to your pretty merch dashboards. The first tab, all the way to the left. Here. Yep. All right. So as you can see, we've got no sales recently. We've got four products of twenty-five live. So if we want to make sales, we should upload, upload, upload. Fill those slots, right? So we get to upload two products today, since you're in tier twenty-five. So we should knock that out. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm feeling all the pumpkin spice mm -hmm. and everything nice. The pumpkin, uh, we went to the brewery and had pumpkin beer yesterday. Mm -hmm. That was delicious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Brought a couple back with us. All right, not that chrome. We're going to use the other one. All right, so what mm -hmm. we're going to do, what our plan is, is essentially go through the, we're just, we're not going to spend forever on researching or designing. We're going to do this, what I would call the practical way, because you, it's Sunday, you, you already at work for a full day mm -hmm. and you've got other stuff to do, just like I do. Yeah. <laughs> so let's just be reasonable here. Instead of spending an hour creating two designs, let's just do this the way that I think makes sense. Perfect. All I right. like that. So our friends at All Sunsets, which you're going to put a link in the description, right? For anybody that yeah. wants to check out All Sunsets, you can do that. She'll have her link in the description. Uh, for $27, you get an annual license, and it comes out to like $2 a month, I think, or a little bit more. And you get pre-made graphics from professional graphic designers that take requests, by the way. So it's, it's, it's crazy because you haven't even seen the graphics yet. Wait till you see them. So what we're going to do is use the All Sunsets graphics. So you can go ahead and start. Um, we've already got them. You want to hit the folder icon down there real quick, and we'll look at the Halloween graphics that we've got prepared. Since it's October, what do you say? We're going to just yep. upload some Halloween shirts. Love it. Using the All Sunsets pre-made graphics. That way you don't have to learn graphic design and spend hours on making, let's just be honest, not that I don't have faith in you, but probably subpar designs to the, what the professionals can do. You're talking about my Brussels sprout shirt again? No, the Brussels sprout shirt has more sales than uh, the, the shirt we did last week. <laughs> Granted, we only gave it a couple days, so I still have faith. It's got, it's got a chance. All right. Okay, so. well, I like this one. So there's two ways to approach this. We can either like go and look for... Halloween, we're gonna do in this case, we've already decided we're gonna do Halloween themed shirts. That's obviously very broad, so we're gonna sub niche within that parent niche. And there's two ways to approach it. We can go straight to Amazon and look for ideas and then see if one of these graphics will help, you know, yeah. fit. Or we can just go to the graphic, pick a, like, it, I think honestly, if we wanna make sales, like, I know T Rexes sell incredibly well. That's so interesting. So, like, where's my phone? If you guys missed our full Amazon merch product review, which uh, we did a haul on every single product which they temporarily took down, but I've got faith is going to come back. But anyways, I, I bought this as a test order and then sold a bunch of them right afterwards because people just love their T-Rexes. That's so interesting to me. So what do you say? You'll pick one design. I'll pick one. I'm picking this one. Uh, what was the one that you liked? The one with the eyeball. Okay, the two I love next the to each eyeballs. other. Yeah. So go ahead, show uh, Photoshop. So we set up a template before this too to make this nice and easy. So what we've done here, we've got our Amazon merch template. We've set it to the right dimensions for standard products, which is, do you remember? 4,500 by 5,400? Yes. 4,500 pixels wide, 5,400 pixels tall. If you guys are curious, for full transparency, the font we're using is called Edmund Texture, E-D-M-U-N-D Texture. So it gives you a little distressed effect, which I think sells really well. And you don't have to actually distress it yourself, which she actually asked me before. She's like, don't we do that ourselves? And I'm like, well, you can, but we're just doing this to optimize for time and efficiency while also making quality designs. Yeah. Cool. So we've got placeholder text at the top and the bottom. We may not need the bottom one, you know, typically I'll at least orient text at the top, but. Um, cool, I like it. So why don't we go ahead and whichever one you want to do first, move the graphic, just drag and drop it in. Even though it's clicked on. We're just gonna pull it in from all sunsets. And it will create its own layer? Yeah. Oh, it's never done that for me. Yeah, so then you can, uh, there you go. Ooh, that's looking good already, guys. Damn. I am How'd talented. Do, do I well make done. it too small? Did I think it... you can just hit enter and then we can move the, the top one up a little bit, okay. the text. All right, I like so this one. Here, I'll drive really quickly. All right, so I'm clicking the top text layer. I'm just going to move this text up a little bit. And then for the niche research part of this, so 
this is going to sound nerdy, but like I installed a separate instance of Google Chrome into Mariel's computer, and we're just going to use that for Amazon Merch. Okay. So when we launch this browser, it opens up to the Merch dashboard and to my Search Merch tool. Okay. When the whole purpose of using this tool is whatever you search for, it's going to filter out all non-Amazon Merch products. So it gets you like a great insight into what's, what's selling. selling and what's not allowed. You know, this is also great for validating if something's allowed or not. So all I did was I typed Halloween 2020. Now, in this case, what would we describe this as? I think we should seed the keywords yeah. with what we might describe this as. Or this is also kind of generic too, though. So, you know, almost anything Halloween 2020. Like, boil, boil, double, and choy, oh. something like that? Yeah, I don't remember what it is, though. Something, I know what you're talking about, but I don't know. Some nursery rhyme or something. So just by typing in Halloween 2020, we get... Uh, some results and you know what i realized we don't have the free chrome extension ds amazon quick view installed which is like a must in my mind because it shows you the best seller rank of the shirts in search results then we can see if they're actually selling or not yeah. so go ahead and uh i'll do it real quick just okay. and we'll do it on camera because cool. if anybody that sees this isn't uh using it it's completely free and we can put a link in the description as well it's called ds amazon quick view and i'm gonna hit add to chrome boom it's added now all we have to do is come back here to where we searched and refresh the page and now you'll notice it's got that little uh, loading sign underneath and it has those numbers. The lower the numbers, the better. Okay. And 1 million is like not that great for a seasonal product. We want to be looking for more like 57,000 and be like, okay, so 2020 is boo sheet with the sunset, by the way, and the vintage retro graphic color scheme. Yeah. That's selling really well, you know, as you would expect. They're just checking all the boxes. So this means that it's not as good of a seller. The right. Higher is not better, yeah. But look at this shirt. I mean, like that checks every design box worth just pointing out. They've got like... 2020 Halloween. They've got 2020 in there. They've got the Halloween theme with the font, the ghost. The ghost is wearing the mask for 2020. You've got toilet paper in the boo. Mm -hmm. Like, they're just checking every box, and you've got the retro color scheme that everybody likes. Yeah. I mean, that's perfect. So, I'm not saying we should copy them. I'm just saying, like, that's brilliant. You know, props to them. Team Halloween 2020, and, you know, a BSR of 1 million. I think that Team Halloween 2020 is generic, that it might fit this, but it doesn't, uh, the, the BSR is too high. I drink wine because 2020 is boo sheet. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. That's not that's not too bad. Maybe we'll write that one down for next video. We can spend a little bit yeah. more time since we've already kind of talked a little bit about how we're approaching this. Next one, we can just jump right in. And I think we can use some of the All Sunset stuff and make a wine glass ourselves or just go grab one from other places. And yeah, absolutely. Make something like that. 2020, all year Halloween. I like that as a theme, actually. <laughs> Halloween 2020, stay six feet away. Trumpkin, no more boo sheet. Halloween 2020, six feet back. Nothing is scarier than 2020. Trick or treat from six feet, not bad. Do any of these you think uh, translate into this? Mm. Like, I think like we might be able to do the nothing is scarier than 2020. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I mean, or you could even write like March 2020. Halloween 2020 is closed. Because March 2020 is when COVID started. You could, but I don't know if that's like too, too in-depth for people. I know. 2020, a, a true horror story. So why don't we just do that? That's okay, a good one. Cool. And it's got a nice BSR, 165K. But you know what? I, also, if you just want to validate it real quick, you can say 2020, 2020, a true horror story. By the way, we come back to the tool because if you search in the tab, it will remove the filters that put the uh, only Amazon merch. Okay, 41 results. BSRs are around half a million that's good that means we can get some sales 700 165 rank not found means it's never sold so i mean i think that's good and i think that yours is going to differentiate also another one that's easy to overlook they're all using black t-shirts so what if what if we do this this is instantly going to guarantee that we pop a little bit switch out the black all right so now we can't see the text so i'm going to right click the text layers go to blending options go to color overlay and then what if we just do orange yeah. And if you don't like it, tell me, but, you know, I'm just no, thinking out loud. orange and black Halloween colors. Oops. Here. All right, so what we're going to do is overlay color on the text so that instead of it being white, it's going to be orange, and it will pop against a white background. I think that'll look great. And I'm going to copy this layer style and put it on the bottom text as well. And now if we that? sell this on a white T-shirt, it will pop against all the other search results that we're going to get indexed on yeah, for 2020, a true horror story, except for this guy. Screw that guy, though. Taking my idea. I kind of like it. No, but you see, we're doing that, basically, yeah. right? It's smart. I mean... Anyway, you can, even the guy selling the premium shirt, again, differentiating, even though he doesn't have a sale, but. Yeah, the premium shirt fit, though, is not my favorite. Yeah. All right, I wonder if they have higher return rates. Probably. All right, so you go ahead now. You finish it up. Um, 2020, a true horror story, right? Mm-hmm. 
maybe in a future video we can do uh maybe what you might i mean i'm just thinking out loud maybe like make the graphics smaller and then make 2020 bigger okay thing. bear with me guys i am slow there we go oops it looks fine there okay because you want the graphic to be really big still you know that's what yeah sells. of course okay so. Now remember, it's weird. Sometimes, like you have to control this is, C it to make yeah, it bigger. Yeah. So what I would do here, real quick, to make this a lot easier, mm -hmm. is like make this small. I know this is kind of like a janky way of doing it, but um, I'm not, I don't claim to be a Photoshop expert. I just know enough to make T-shirts that sell. Control T and then make it big now. But now that we've condensed it, it'll be a lot easier to, scale. to make huge. Yeah, that's probably. Yeah, I think that's gonna be too big. No, that's good. Move the graphic down a little bit, and then there you go. Make sure it's centered. Okay. Looks good. Yeah, perfect. 2020. A true horror story. No. It doesn't fit. All right, just make the text smaller because we only have one line to work with. And I think the graphic being bigger is better. No, 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 okay, no, Okay, not no, that. No, no, no. Yeah. So should I just so You've already got negative it? 30 character spacing, so you don't want to touch that anymore. Just, uh, no, nah, just change up here. Maybe 1,200? Yeah keep going i don't know if 1100 uh, probably you're almost there yeah. yeah maybe a little bit bigger or you can control t it to be bigger that doesn't work <gasps> ah! mm -hmm. and also center it i will all right all right that's fine you can do it both ways where are you centered there you go now you're good should i move it down, move it down yeah. i think that's good I think so too. All right, so now all we're gonna do, the finishing touch, turn off the background. Uh, personal preference, moving it up just a tad. Okay. Or maybe even like honestly end to end since it's small relative to everything else. There, good enough? Yep. All right, and then control shift S to save. And then I always like to title it the keyword. So 2020, a true horror story, boom. We got one design done, and then how about I'll just crank out the one I was gonna do? Yeah, because I'm pretty slow. I'm sorry, guys. No, it's you're not slow. I am slow. I've done this probably like, I I mean I manually uploaded thirteen thousand designs before I ever started automating them. So I've obviously spent a long time doing this. But we met before I even was in Amazon merch, right? Yeah. So when we first started dating, you were just I would talk about tier this. ten. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, I would tell people about it, and people would be like, "Dude, that sounds cool," and I'd be like, "Yeah, I'm gonna make a lot of money." And then when I started making money, they're like, "Dude." You were supposed to tell me about it. I'm like, I did. And they're like, well, tell me what to do. And I'm like, I will. But it's like no follow through. Seriously. All right. What did I say? T-Rex. Oh, wait. T-Rex. Halloween. Halloween. All right. That's what I meant to say. Hi, pigs. Dinosaur Halloween. Uh, T-Rex. Any good memes? Trick, roar, treat. Boom. Boom. That's it right there. Now, I don't I like know it. if that's good. I'm not even going to no, look like to validate that. it. I like that. I'm not even going to validate it. Trick. Puns are my roar, jam. Treat. Yeah. With a K. That's too. It's. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Trick. I'm gonna make it smaller. Trick. And then you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna turn off the bottom layer. I'm just gonna duplicate the top. I think that will fit. No, we have to make it. I'll make it work. Trick. Raw treat. Yeah, raw treat. Oh, it's gonna fit. Raw treat. Nope. We'll figure it out and then I'll apply it to the top so it's all equal. 25, 2015. No. It's weird. I don't know why it does this on some computers, you know? Like on mine, like Where's if you yours? did 1200 point, it would be like off of the screen. Whereas on yours, it's uh... like so small. Yeah, and look at that. I, dude, it's like I put. I, I changed the, the font size and nothing. Trick. Rar. It keeps. Okay. Ready? 1200. Rar. Treat. And then we'll. Whoops. Make it big. See, I just gotta feel for it. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly go. how to do it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I just don't like that trick is smaller. Is know? it? I don't think trick is smaller. Or bigger, I mean bigger. You know? I want to make it like consistent and then we'll let the graphic fill up the, the, the gap. You know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And also, I mean, on the end result, see, it's like it's better to use the whole canvas space because on the end result, like the, the bigger it is in the thumbnail when they're browsing for which shirt to buy, the better. You know, it's going to increase the odds of us getting the sale. Trick or treat. All right, not even going to validate it. I like it as an idea. Um, I don't know if we should sell it on a white shirt or if we should flip it, but you know what? We've already done like this. We'll just do it again. So we'll sell two white optimized shirts. So we'll say trick, raw, treat. Boom. We got two shirts done. You ready to upload them? Yeah. All right. So we come back over to the pretty merch dashboard, hit that plus sign. And then you know what I might do? 
is copy it and open a new tab. So now we've got two tabs. So we know we're going to be doing two designs. Uh, I used to upload in like 10 tabs in parallel, which is part of how I did 13,000 designs manually. You cannot do that anymore. They will throttle you. So first thing to do, select products. I always do the select, deselect all. And yeah. then shirt. standardshirt.com. You only got two uploads yeah. a day. We got to make these count. So we'll click here. We'll do the, uh, you can do this one since this is you. All right. So go ahead and you should be safe to do youth. Youth, when you select that box, is subject to a stricter content policy, but. Um, so we'll say white. Yeah, here's the thing. I think you might want to just do a white thumbnail. How do I do we know just white thumbnail? By unchecking black. Well, you could leave. The problem is if you check black, it's going to make that the primary almost assuredly. So we're only going to choose one color. Yeah, and this is kind of like one of these weird strategies. But in this case, since we made a design with one shirt color in mind, I think it's okay. So just roll with the white and then let's do 1307 price point. So no profitability until fifth period. Perfect. All right, keywords. So start with Halloween 2020. Maybe even say like funny Halloween 2020. If that fits, we'll see if we have enough keywords. Funny Halloween 2020 comma space. What was it again? Um, 2020, a true horror story. A true horror story. Just, you don't have to type 2020 twice. It won't help. Maybe you can have to. I don't remember if they capitalize it for you or not. All right, now, control A, control C. Getting all the keyboard shortcuts today. Control A? Con yeah, that selects all. And then control C. Where? There you go. Boom. Now you can paste it down there. There you go. And uh, yeah, you might just paste it here. Just In this too? It. Yeah, just paste it. And then tab or click. <laughs> and just say, this shirt says 2020, a true horror story. And say something like, it's a funny, just, yeah. Sorry. You're good, you're good. Period, period space. It's a funny trick or treating shirt. Perfect. And then what you might do is, yeah, just grab the, just combine the two bullets and then as your description. Description really doesn't matter. It's just for making your listing look more complete uh, as far as if you need something weird. What do I do? Oh yeah, we didn't want to put shirt here. Sorry, I don't You're know good. what's happening now. It doesn't like when we reference the product type, so we're just gonna remove shirt. All right, so then we just period space, good to go. A funny Halloween 2020, a true horror story. This uh, year. Instead Something of shirt, this product, this product. So we'll say this product, or even like this says, all right, good. Okay, yeah. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy this for mine. So okay. we'll hit publish. All right, boom, done. That Woo. one should be live soon. Over here, we're just gonna do the same thing. Upload, trick, roar, treat, love it. I have a feeling mine's gonna sell and yours isn't. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> They're both gonna sell. Knock on wood. Don't make me sick piggy on you. <laughs> but for those camera. of you guys who have not met her, we have a little micro chihuahua named Piggy hey. Smalls. She's been a little sleepy nugget. All right, I might leave mine on black and white, actually. I like the way it looks on both, so black, and white both look great with the orange trick roll treat perfect 1307 yes scroll down uh t-rex halloween funny trick roar treat or like maybe like t-rex lover mm -hmm. t-rex lover halloween funny trick roar treat we're just getting indexed on broad keywords that people would search and by the way there's a, another chrome extension you know what we'll talk about it next week actually i'll make a note okay there's a Chrome extension that will do autocomplete and show you like what order people might type those keywords in or if there's words before or words after. And we'd want to target those because if we can match it how people search it, Amazon's yeah. algorithm is smart enough to know to show us. This funny Halloween 2020 shirt or 2020 product is a great costume for T-Rex lovers. It says trick roar treat. Right. put that in the description too boom done publish and we are good to go that's Woo. it for today now what should we do for the giveaway for oh what should we make them say yeah like what do you guys think uh <laughs> a halloween pun yeah halloween pun halloween pun yeah what is a pun again a pun is like a play on words okay so so you just said it's a trick raw or treat that's a oh, pun. okay good all right yeah post a good halloween pun in the comments like the video subscribe 
And I mean, you saw we had a one in thirty chance of winning a life not even not even like a one month free, mm -mm. a lifetime. Lifetime subscription to the number one Amazon merch Chrome extension that not only makes your dashboard pretty, because it's called pretty merch, mm -hmm. but gives you a bunch of useful data on the analytics tab and then also helps you manage your catalog of products, which really comes in handy when you're beyond tier twenty five and in like tier hundred thousand, like somebody I know. Yeah. I know. Uh, it, yeah, so definitely, like, it's worth commenting if you guys, you guys already know that. Come on now. All right. Yeah, thank you guys for watching Mary J's Hauls. Make sure to click the like, subscribe, and notifications button, not only for me, but for Picky Smalls as well. Hope you guys have a good one.